happening beautiful people? I hope you are well. I'm your maths coach and today we are going to be looking at finding the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Let's get straight into it. As we do this, if you refer back to how you used to solve for linear sequences, you go and say, right, what's the difference between these two numbers? You've added four. You go on to the next one. This time it adds six. And if you continue, you'll notice 11 to 19, you've added eight. 19 to 21, you've added 10. So there isn't the same difference throughout. At this point, you know that you are dealing with a quadratic sequence. So what you will do at this stage is you will now need to find the difference of the differences. So what are you adding from four to six? You do two. From six to eight, you've added two. And from eight to 10, you've added two. Now this is the difference of the differences. So now half this value, that is two. So we'll half two, the half of two is one. So we'll just write N squared. Had this been four, the differences, we'll half four and we'll write two N squared. Had the difference of this been five, we'll half five and we'll write 2.5 N squared, okay? So the lesson here is that you halve whatever the difference was with an n squared. Next, what you want to do is you want to set up a table. You set up a table with your original sequence of numbers up here. So the original is 1, 5, 11, 19, 29. So 1, 5, 11, 19, and 29. Then what you do is you write down what you've just found. So n squared, you substitute the values of n. So one, two, three, four, five, the first five terms, because we are dealing with the first five terms here. Okay, so one squared, one. Two squared gives us four. Three squared gives us nine. Substitute a four in here, we get 16. We substitute a five in here, we get 25. Next, what you want to do is you want to work out the differences between your original and your n squared values, okay? So we are gonna calculate here the difference between each one. So the difference here is zero. The difference here, five take away four is one. 11 take away nine gives us two. 19 take away 16 is three. 29 take away 25, four. So we will now have a new sequence and this sequence here should follow the same thing that you used to do for finding the nth term of a linear sequence. So you find the difference. You add one, add one, you add one, and you add one. And if you refer back to the linear sequence video, which I've done for you, uh, you what you now need to do is write one n, that's it. And then you go backwards from the first term to the zero of term, by doing minus one and zero minus one is minus one and you simply add minus one to this. What you now have is you have n squared here and you have this, so you merge both of them, you add them together and your full sequence rule is n squared plus, we don't need to write one in algebra, so we're just going to write n and then minus one and that is the rule, you have to test the rules, okay? You have to test that it works. As an example, we are gonna take this, which is the third term. So n here, our n will be three. So you do three squared, which is nine, plus three, which is 12, minus one, 11. And again, you can test this for the fourth term, okay? So we should get a value of 19 if we sub in n equals four. Four squared is 16, plus four, 16 plus four is 20, minus one, 19. And that is how you find the quadratic nth term. Now, a question may also say to you, find the 10th term. And what you do is you substitute the value of 10 for n. So 10 squared is 100, plus 10, 110, minus one, 109. So the 10th term is 109. Right, let's do that again. This time what you might wanna do is pause the video and try to work out the next step yourself. Press play again and then continue watching. So we will work out the difference between each term. Okay, so five to 12, we add seven. 12 
to 23, we add 11. 23 to 38, we add 15. And 38 to 57, we add 19. So you see that we are dealing with a quadratic. Why? Because these differences are not the same. Had they been the same, then we would be working with a linear sequence. So now we will find the difference between these differences. 7 to 11, we add 4. 11 to 15 is add 4. And 15 to 19 is also add 4. Do we write 4n? No, we don't. We halve this number. Writing down 4n is for linear sequences. And this is not a linear sequence. So going back to this, what do we do? We halve this number. Half of 4 is 2. So write 2 with an n squared. That's it. Whatever this value was, we halve it, write it with an n squared. Then we go back to drawing our table. We have the original up here, which is our original sequence of numbers. So 5, 12, 23, 38, and 57. And here we'll write 2n squared. Now remember, we put in values of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to match the first five terms of this. So here, 1 squared, 1 times by 2 is 2. For this value, we write 2 squared, which is 4, times by 2, 8. This is the third term. So 3 squared, which is 9, times by 2, 18. 4 squared, 16, times by 2, 32. 5 squared, 25, times by 2 is 50. So now we will find the difference between the original and our 2n squared. So the difference here, so 5 take away 2 is 3, 12 take away 8 is 4, 23 take away 18, 5. Okay, so as you can see, these are sequence of numbers that you may recognize being a linear sequence of numbers, and you find the difference between each of them as you would do with a linear sequence question. Each time it's add one, add one, add one, and add one. So what do we write? We write one n. Going backwards from our first term, we do minus one. So three minus one is two, and it's a positive two. So we do plus two. And we then put these two together, 2n squared plus 1n plus 2. And that is our rule. And once again, let's test our rule. So let's take the second term. We are expecting 12, n being the value of 2. 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. Again, let's test it for the fourth term. So n will be 4, so 4 squared which is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, plus 4, 36, plus 2, 38. On to our final example. Grade 7, guys, remember, this is a, around a grade 7 for your GCSE. So let's start by finding the difference between each term. So you're 18. Here are the differences between each term. And now you will find the difference of the differences. So each time add 10, 10 again, add 10 again. Can you remember what to do now? You half this difference. So you half this difference, you write 5n squared. What's next? We do our table, our original sequence. 6, 24, 52, 90, and 138. What do we do next? 5n squared. Now, you may still be wondering how we generate these numbers. So for this, I will actually show you separately. We want to have one, two, three, four, five numbers in here that we will take away the differences from the original. Now to generate our five numbers, we will say our first term, our second term, our third term, fourth term, fifth term, n will become one, n will become two, n will become three, four, and five. So to generate these numbers, we'll do one squared times by five, which is five. Two squared, which is four, four times by five is 20. For the third number, we'll do three squared, which is nine times by five is 45. And then we continue doing this, so four squared, which is 16, 16 times by five, which is 80. Five squared, which is 25, 25 times by five is 125. What's our next step? We'll find the differences between each of these. So what's the difference between six minus five, which is one, 
24 take away 20, which is 4. 52 take away 45. 7, 90 take away 80 is 10. And 138 take away 125 is 13. We have another sequence. And for this sequence, we just treat this as you would do with a normal linear sequence. So a quadratic has the linear sequence working out involved. We find the differences between each term. Plus three, 47 is plus three, plus three, plus three. A word of warning to some of you, if you find that you are not getting the same difference each time, it means that something has gone wrong. So you need to go back to your calculations. Now the first place to start is go back to this 10. Have you half this number to get the five? Okay, most of the time people do this correctly, but it's here, you should be getting the same difference each time. So let's go back now. What do we do? We write free n here because our difference is free and write with free n. Then we go back to the first term and we go backwards by doing minus three. One minus three is minus two. So we will add here minus two. And all that is left now is to add these two together to merge them. So we do 5n squared plus 3n minus 2. And here we have our quadratic sequence. Now, what I am going to do as a bonus here is I'm going to show you how to find the 10th term. Okay, so a question might say to you, find the 10th term. What do you do? You simply substitute the value of n as 10. So you do 10 squared, which is 100, 100 times by 5. So here you get 500, and then you do plus 3 times n, so 3 times 10, again, which is 30, and then you minus 2. So 530 minus 2, which is 528. So the 10th term is 528. And also, before you forget, don't forget, you need to check whether this sequence is correct or not by going back to your original sequence and just testing it out. Quickly do that just to show that it works. So this is a second term, which for the second term, when we substitute n equals 2, we should get 24. So let's do that. So 2 squared, which is 4, 4 times 5, 20. So here, 20, and then 3 times 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 20 plus 6 is 26, minus the 2 is 24. And that proves that the nth term of the quadratic sequence is correct. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. You are more comfortable with dealing with quadratic sequences. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, support it, help it grow, share with all your friends. Goodbye for now.